Hi, uh, my name is Robert Adams. Uh, our law firm is Robert J. Adams and Associates. The reason I'm doing this video is when people are considering filing a Chapter 7 or Chapter 13, they always ask, what documents do we need and what information what we must provide? Please bear in mind when I go through this list, it's not what I personally want. It's what the court requires. So you have to provide it. The list is fairly short. We need pay advices. For most people, that's the last 60 days of your pay stubs. You need a driver's license or state ID and a social security card. You need a list of debts. Now I'll tell you what our firm does. We help you get your free credit report. That has most of the information. You need a list of your assets. For most people, it's not that difficult. We're not asking you to enumerate your number of chairs, uh, lights, etc., etc., etc. It's usually very quick. If you have a house or a car, more detail is needed. All court documents you may have in the event there's a foreclosure, or there's a judgment, or a wage garnishment, or a letter. Uh, or a letter from the Secretary of State saying your license has been suspended or will be, whatever it is. Uh, tax returns. The tax returns for it. A chapter seven, the last two years, or a chapter 13, four years. Um, before any case can be filed, whether it's a chapter seven or a chapter 13, you have to do what's called credit counseling. The ones we recommend is a very inexpensive, it's $9.76. Also, if you use our the one we suggest, you can put, put in our codes so the certificate that's required comes directly to our email. Now, in the blog attached to this, we go into far more detail. Uh, sometimes you don't have exactly what the court requires. For instance, Maybe you didn't work for the last 60 days or you're on social security. You know, it goes on. For income tax, uh, some of our clients were not required to file income tax. We go on to those details. Again, this is all stuff that's required to successfully file a chapter seven or a chapter 13. And the point of gathering this information as soon as possible is we want to uh, achieve your particular goals. If you're filing a Chapter 7, you want to get a discharge as soon as possible. If you're filing a Chapter 13, you want to proceed to a confirmation to reorganize your debts and get on with your life. Okay, I hope this uh, video has been a bit helpful. I appreciate you watching it. And again, there's more details in, our, in the blog attached. Now, as a way of self-promotion, I'll tell you, we've been helping people file chapter seven and chapter 13 for over 40 years. We think we do a pretty good job. And we are very dedicated to our clients to achieve their goals. Uh, we have offices in Chicago, in Waukegan, but since the uh, pandemic, uh, technology has changed and we can handle cases all over uh, uh, remotely. So you can live in Will County and we can handle your cases. Many of our clients either never see us or only see us a little bit. All or most of the details can be handled over the phone and through emails. Some clients do want to see us face-to-face. -face. We're happy. We like meeting our clients.
So again, I hope the video has been helpful. The attached blog helps you also. Uh, we appreciate you watching it and God bless you.